This segment of the Alice Stewart Show is brought to you by the Countertop Store, Central Arkansas's premier countertop authority. For custom fabrication and installation of granite, tile, laminate, copper, and more, the Countertop Store, 888-510-4773. Hey, welcome back to the Alice Stewart Show, 720 on a nice Thursday morning here in Central Arkansas. And folks that were hit hard by last week's devastating deadly tornado uh, received a special visit yesterday from President Obama. He touched down in uh, North Little Rock yesterday and took a tour over to Faulkner County and toured and got a, a really firsthand look at the devastation there in Bologna. And he was on the ground for over an hour and a half and met with folks and uh, comforted them and met with first responders and uh, said he was impressed with the resilience uh, of the community and the state. And our own Congressman Tim Griffin was with the president on that tour and was able to s- join him as he met with uh, folks. And the congressman joins us now on the Royal Overhead Door Hotline. Congressman Griffin, good morning. Uh, good morning. Thank you for having me on. Thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. And and tell us, uh, you were on the trip with the president. What What was it like? Well, uh, I think it was great for the president to get a first-hand look at the uh, devastation. You know, he commented, um, as we all did, at, uh, how quickly uh, a tornado can hit uh, and move on and leave such incredible devastation in its wake. And, and he commented a couple or maybe even several times on how uh, how um, – unique tornadoes are in that they can destroy uh, a home on one side of the street and right next door the home will be uh, completely left alone. It's just, it's really, um, it was really uh, uh, good for him to see uh, everything that that occurred up close and then, of course, thank the first responders, talk with the families affected, see uh, up close and personal uh, the impact uh, that it had, you know, I, I think that's important. Uh, and um, I think that it also sends a signal, and I said this when the Red Cross head came to visit uh, last Sunday with the Secretary of Homeland Security, um, these visits send a signal to national charities that may not be visiting. They send a signal that, hey, this is an important, uh, 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 this is an important place for relief. And they also send a signal to the massive federal uh, government, uh, to all of the people and all the agencies, that this was a big enough priority for uh, the Secretary of Homeland Security and the President to come visit. And so it sends a signal to them uh, that uh, that I think I think whether it's psychologically or not, it helps move things faster in the federal bureaucracy, getting the money and getting the relief and getting the, the loans, and uh, whether they be small business loans or what have you. Uh, so I, I think, it's a, I, I think um, it's a good thing, and uh, the president, I think, was really moved by what he saw. Uh, but um, it, glad he... I'm glad he took the time to right. stop. And, and Congressman, the, we saw the video of him meeting with with different people and and on the rubble. But just a lot of folks were were curious. You you met him at North Little Rock Airport when Air Force One flew in. I mean the the Air Force base and got on Marine yeah, One and flew with him in Jacksonville. And you and you flew with him and the governor and Senator Pryor and Mayor Stodola uh, to Valonia. What's the conversation like on the helicopter? Is it briefing him on storms, or what's the conversation like? Okay, so, yeah, we got on at uh, Little Rock Air Force Base um, on uh, the um, uh, the civilian version of the Black Hawk. Uh, uh, it's not the traditional Marine one that you would see uh, landing uh, at, the, uh, at the White House, but got on there. Uh, it was uh, Mayor Stodola w- wasn't on the helicopter. It was... Um, uh, the Senator Pryor, me, uh, the governor, and uh, the president, and then uh, Valerie Jarrett, one of his top advisors, and then uh, some you know, military personnel. Um, and uh, we talked. Uh, we talked. Obviously, we pointed out the devastation and uh, some landmarks, sort of uh, some of the more recognizable 
um, <clears throat> um, buildings and neighborhoods that had been uh, impacted. We went uh, in the, uh, Pulaski County, Mayflower, and then made our way uh, over to uh, Bologna. And uh, we talked about, uh, well, obviously we pointed to uh, some of the destruction. We talked about the size of the towns. We talked about the neighboring town at Conway was nearby. We talked about uh, some of the challenges that the mayors of Mayflower and uh, Bologna are having uh, and will have, particularly because, you know, a, a large percentage of their um, businesses are gone and therefore a large percentage of their tax base is gone, and therefore, um, you know, they're going to struggle paying for basic services uh, in those uh, cities right now. And if you don't have basic services, it makes it harder to rebuild. So we talked about that in particular uh, the, and, uh, and the problem that they have because a lot of the funds available, particularly FEMA, uh, the, the funds available through FEMA, may or may not, I think in in most cases as it relates to revenue for cities, may not be used for that. So we, we talked about some um, other ways we might be able to help with that. You know, I talked with Valerie Jarrett uh, uh, and um, and the president and, and the group there about the, the homes that are that are empty at uh, in Mayflower and I indicated to them that I had asked Exxon uh, to think about or, or let people who don't have shelter, who don't have homes, uh, move into those and to try to work out some sort of agreement, whether it would be uh, for free or free initially or low cost or whatever it is. Uh, the bottom line is you've got a need for people, uh, need uh, for shelter, uh, for homes, and then we have some. We have the supply there of, of empty homes. So we talked quite a bit about that. Um, Valerie was sitting to my right, and so we we uh, we had a little uh, sidebar about that after we talked with the group. And she had just recently had uh, some conversations with some folks at Exxon. She was willing to help on that. Um, well, that's helpful. So, uh, that's certainly helpful. Yeah. So uh, we we uh, but we talked about. Um, now, what what was there yeah. when they first saw it? Like whether it was in the the chopper or actually on the ground? What was their just their first comment to to all of you when when they just saw the magnitude of it? Uh, well, it either right before we got there, or maybe it was right when he saw it. He mentioned uh, uh, the massive devastation that he had seen at uh, Joplin and Tuscaloosa. And you'll remember those uh, as being very, very uh, powerful and devastating tornadoes. And he he uh, you know, made the comment that it, it's a lot when you see that kind of devastation. It's it's almost like a, a bomb had gone off because it's so um, comprehensive. Uh, and um, and I he either made that comment just before or just after we saw it. Uh, but but the point was he understood that this was not uh, an EF one or EF two that we have quite a bit. Uh, this was this was something very very powerful and that had very quickly uh, brought devastation to a lot of people's uh, lives. And uh, and by comparing it to Joplin and, and Tuscaloosa, I mean that that's communicating that that. Uh, he saw it as as a a, a, a very very uh, powerful and devastating storm. Right. One one last thing, Congressman. We've got about thirty seconds left. One of the things we we spoke yesterday. You wanted to make sure and stress to the president, uh, and he was receptive. We need to get this help, this financial assistance here as quickly as possible. Yeah, and and you know the uh, all uh, it, uh, just to be clear. Uh, We've gotten the declaration and uh, of a disaster area, and FEMA's doing a, a great job. Um, I just emphasize the the speed of assistance because uh, Bologna and Mayflower, um, the quicker they can rebuild, the more likely that they they come back stronger. Uh, right. I think when these things drag on, um, people. Uh, for a whole host of reasons, 
uh, people may look elsewhere or whatever, and we don't we don't want that. We right. want people to know that we're rebuilding. Thank you, Congressman Tim Griffin. We appreciate your time. Have a great day. Thank you all. All right, thank Bye. you. This segment of the Alice Stewart Show brought to you by the Countertop Store, 9817 Mom L Boulevard. Give them a call. We'll be back.